so miscommunication is from the user side it might have not communicated properly and misinterpretation from the developer side okay uh, okay to, to through which what will happen the coding or implementation will go wrong so developer is coding suppose it is misinterpreted and the developer is coding according to his way so the coding or the implementation process may go wrong okay due to which there will be faults in the circuit okay uh, from user side and this developer side there are two sections particularly so we can technically name them as so user side what we have is the requirements so user gives the requirements and what developer is having is the specification so this point should be correlated such a way that you will obtain a fault free circuit if the proper requirements are given and proper specifications are suggested by the developer then the design will be fault free now this is the major part of the faults if suppose the user and the developer is same then there will be no faults okay because there will be no miscommunication he himself is doing the all the process after that the next source of the fault is the device defect now in device defects what can happen the circuit is fault free designed very properly with all the requirements all the specification but what happens this part of the circuit or a device a particular small device a transistor or a mosfet is not working properly then it will be a device defect it is not working in the proper region that's why the current source and sync capabilities of that device is not properly handled and hence there will be faults in digital circuits okay and the last thing is the manufacturing process now what happens in the manufacturing process suppose low quality materials are used then the digital circuits will not work properly and the proper conduction of the signals will not take place as well as the source sensing capabilities of the circuit may affect which will finally result in the fault detection now there are number of fault detection in the digital circuits okay and i will see carefully the faults are working pretty much all the same way all the faults are there and we can sort it out them but there are large number of faults okay. and they are mainly dependent on the design process device defects and the manufacturing process i am moving out further so here what we have seen is the source of faults in the digital circuits design process device defects and manufacturing process uh, moving out further what we'll be having here is the source of faults we have seen and next video we are going to see the type of faults okay so stay tuned within 5 minutes for more videos with the digital circuits 